What is that? Don't worry, that'll make sense at the end of the video. You'll understand it. Anyway, that's the GRGM 1200A applied to a sphere. <laughs> okay, G, what's the GRGM 1200A? It's, a, it's the lunar gravity model. Okay, let's look at it a little bit more in context there. That's the moon. You know what the moon looks like. Now I'm going to apply the GRGM 1200A to that. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's at about multiplied by 50. Now multiplied by 100. That's the moon gravitational model. GRGM 1200A. If I was to look at that as we see it from the Earth, and if I was to look at that top down, we can see all the dark bulbs point towards the Earth. Now the moon is lunar locked to the Earth. That means that one side is always facing the Earth. Which side is that? That's the bulbous side in terms of gravity. I mean, here's the Earth gravitational model and the moon gravitational model together. To understand what lunar locking is, how there's one side always facing the Earth. It's always facing the Earth. There we go, always facing the Earth as it goes around. Always facing the Earth as it goes around. And the Earth spins any way it wants to. Fully rotating like so. And if it was, say, upside down, well, it'd still be happily spinning around there with Australia on the top. Let's compare that to a geospatial topology model. Okay, so I've got a height map, and that's multiplied by 10. Let's turn that up to, say, 25, and we can see there. This is the hills and the mountains magnified by 25. Let's turn it up to 50. There we go. 50. Let's turn it up to 100. There we go. That's the moon topology magnified by 100. Look at that. Big missing bit at the bottom there. What does it look like as seen from the Earth? And if the mountains on the moon were 100 times bigger than they were today, that's what it would look like on the Earth. Well, I'll set that down to 50, and we'll compare that with the gravitational model. That gravitational model is set as 50 as well. So the gravity is much smoother than the topology, but it's still quite significant. The differences of the gravity model on the moon compared to the Earth gravitational model are much greater compared to its size. Let's turn it up to 100. There we go. It's 100. Where did the Apollo spacecraft land? Here. Roughly about there. What does the topology look like when magnified compared to where the Apollo 11 landed? There we go. It's rather smooth area in comparison. That's multiplied by 50. Let's turn it down to 1. Well, it's pretty insignificant, really. It's very smooth. The moon. Let's have a look at where the Apollo 11 landed in terms of the strength of gravity on the moon. Turn that up. That's where it landed roughly around about there. So the gravity was quite average actually compared to its surroundings. But if I was going to land on the moon, I would choose one of these big huge bulbs because that's where the gravity would be the strongest. These here are a whole bunch of landings, and there's the Apollo 11 landing down here. These darker sections of the moon were quite important. Let's look at those again compared to gravity. We can see that the uh, 
the dark spots are quite important. I guess where you wouldn't want to land on the moon would be somewhere where the gravity was the weakest, and that would be perhaps somewhere under there. Let's look at that in, as a color gradient. That's where the gravity is the weakest. And these green sections here is where the gravity is the strongest. That's the side of the moon we don't normally see, and that's the side that we see from the Earth. What was that thing I was looking at at the beginning of the video? Well, that's the man on the moon. If you want to know more about why, why that is, that we see a face in a shape that really isn't a human head, there's a page on Wikipedia about pareidolia, and even in that it mentions the man on the moon. Link in the description. Now look at that one. That one's on Mars. Often uh, called the face on Mars. Look at that. Amazing, huh? Pareidolia. The moon. Geospatial topology. The GRGM 1200A times 50 times 100 with a gradient. The man on the moon. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And that's a heart.